been working as a cop for 15 years. And I thought to myself, there's got to be more to life than this. I wanted to test myself. I wanted to see if I still had it. So when I enlisted, I enlisted infantry, which is the most physically demanding MOS in the military. Kunar province, Afghanistan, was the most kinetic area in the country. Had areas there that were nicknamed the Valley of Death. Oh, I'm hit! I'm hit! During that firefight, it's when I had my personal talk with God. I thought for sure I was going to die that day on that mountain. And I told God, I said, listen, just let me go out the way I need to go out. And that's when I reloaded, stood up, and started working my way down that hill in the open. I knew I was getting medically discharged. I had $5,000 to my name, and I started the company to get into it. In the cannabis industry, I've been tagged with a couple nicknames. Godfather, Cannabis Security, and the Law and Order Outlaw. I've worked with numerous government agencies across the country to write the regulations and the guidelines for the security end of the cannabis industry. Brother, if I was a fucking stoner, let me tell you, this would be the absolute fucking dream job. Getting up in the morning every day with the pain I had to deal with is like getting hit by a fucking truck. Mm. There's nothing out there that I'm really afraid of except my five foot six wife. You're an idiot. Oh, you know what? <laughs> you are an idiot. <laughs> I'm also if you married an idiot, what's that make you? The thing I look forward to the most is coming home to Jack Daniels. And it just so happens that Jack Daniels is my eight month old son. We employ veterans to minimize risk in the legal cannabis industry. The training I provide for these guys is badass. You know, I had former Delta operators come teach room clearing, transport techniques, the whole nine yards. You work for me, brother, you're, you're back on duty, bro. There's a violent side to this industry that people don't see. Yeah, and who better suited to work in the cannabis security industry than vets? If you give one of these guys purpose back in their lives, they'll walk through hell for you. The industry's growing, the businesses are growing, my company's growing, the acceptance of the cannabis industry is growing nationally. People talk about the gold rush, this green rush is far surpassed that.